Now in this part of the question, we're told that the curve y equals f of x has the equation e to the 2x minus k, and we've got to find the range of f of x. And the range of f of x is going to be essentially all the y values that you see going from the lowest point here upwards. Now the question is, what is this lowest point? Well, what we can do is basically think back to our basic sketch of y equals e to the x or f of x equals e to the x and if you had that graph f of x equaling e to the x would be a graph something like this it's a standard graph okay so we'll just say that that is f of x equaling e to the x and it's a standard graph that goes through the point one on the y-axis because if x is naught, e to the naught or anything to the power naught is always going to be one. Now if we were to replace that x with a 2x we would generate the graph of f of 2x and in this case it would be e to the 2x and f of 2x would always take any graph of f of x and stretch it by a scale factor of a half parallel to the x-axis. In other words, what you would get now is that this graph of e to the x would come in something like this and go up like that. Points like this one are halved towards the y-axis. Okay, uh, If you took this point here, it moves in half halfway across towards the y-axis. So it gets squashed in, if you like, either side of the y-axis by scale factor a half. So the red graph then is f of 2x e to the 2x. And this graph, along with the blue graph e to the x, tend towards the x-axis, which is called an asymptote. And we now need to consider what happens when we put minus k on the end. Well, what I'm going to do is just take the graph of e to the 2x and we'll put it on top of here. So we'll just do that. There we are. Let's imagine now that this is the graph of e to the 2x and it passes through the 1 here on the y-axis. So let's just put then that's 1. Now what we can do with this minus k means that we now translate our graph of e to the 2x k units downwards. So this point here on the end of the curve here is going to move down k units. But the most important line here is the x-axis because e to the 2x, this graph here, tends towards the x-axis and if we move that down k units, okay, we're going to find that that graph let's just pull it down, it's going to move down k units and so the x-axis is going to move down as well if you like or the equation of that line is going to move down k units and so that's going to generate another line another asymptote through here. And What is the equation of that line? Well it's moved down k units so it must pass through the y-axis at minus k. So the equation of that asymptote is basically y equals minus k. So when it comes to the range all we've got to do is just consider all values greater than minus k. So that's the answer to our problem. The range of f of x is basically that f of x is greater than minus k.